life is not for me. You must honor your duties to your family, my lord. They must eat. Go. This impotent soil makes a mockery of my attempts at husbandry. The king intended you to use the land to support your dependents. Your uncle manages his farm nearby with ease. Aye, and you too, Oswald. You seem to thrive. Well, it's merely a question of knowledge, my lord. This hand was made to wield the sword, not the sickle. My lord, it is important for you to consider your problem seriously. The star spade? You must find out how best to utilize each acre. Surely man is not to be burdened by such earthly problems forever. His responsibilities in future will not allow him to be shackled by such tasks. If you want me to help you, my lord, you must be willing to listen. These hard times are made harder by the unsuitability of my responsibilities. How do you overcome these difficulties? Uh, I, a faithful warrior of the king, that I should fail. It is unworthy, ignoble. How do you succeed? Well, my lord, I have at my fingertips as any information enable me to plan every stage of the day. I can make quick calculations and have access to accurate statistics. I can update and change the elements of a problem. I have, sir, an IBM personal computer. The quest for knowledge has been a preoccupation for mankind since time began. The desire to solve problems has always been one of his strongest instincts. But the motivation has not always been for the betterment of his understanding of the world, or even to satisfy his curiosity in this. Or it has been for personal gain. But what is it? I, uh, I don't understand. Where does it come from? Oh, sir, from IBM. Knowledge is power. But the ability to apply that knowledge is not necessarily a natural instinct. It is true that our judgment is based upon accurate information. But the ability to find an effective and reliable source of information not evident to everyone. But what is its function? What can it do? Well, my lord, we can start by looking at your requirements and calculating your needs. Now, you have the 15 of your family, 22 serfs, 58 head of livestock. Yes. For 12 months continuously. Yes. By using a hundred of land. Yes. The IBM personal computer is likely to help revolutionize our way of life in a very significant manner. It will be used for domestic accounting, communicating with friends and colleagues, educating our children, and of course, playing games. Computers will be used comprehensively in our schools and colleges, and the printed page, the textbook, might slowly become outdated. I, 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 I might, I might want to use my horses for, for transport, for, 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 for carrying my merchandise, not just for plowing. Very well, my lord. We can calculate the effect that may have on your agricultural needs. Now, if we assume that you use four horses for plowing, and seven for transportation, but primarily, the computer will be used in business and industry. Businesses, both large and small, will have to use computers in order to stay abreast of the rest of the commercial world. The demands of business are so intense and deadlines so critical that up-to-date and accurate information must always be immediately available. Individuals with income all sizes will be using all kinds of computer terminals, whether as independent systems, processing localized information for individual use, or whether for accessing and communicating with other larger information sources within other computers at perhaps distant locations.
The personal computer heralds from Celtic lands. The elements that go into making each IBM personal computer are brought together here in Greenock. Stringent testing procedures are applied to every unit to ensure complete reliability and quality. But the IBM personal computer has been developed and designed with the needs of the small businessman in mind. Its computing power is usually sufficient for such applications, and it is easy to use. It is very user-friendly. In practice, it could increase the speed and efficiency of your office operations and improve the planning and monitoring of financial activities. And for the more academically orientated user, its comparatively large memory and storage capabilities make it a very useful tool. The concern with quality that has been applied by IBM to its larger computer systems has also been applied to the IBM personal computer. IBM has the experience of some of the most advanced computer systems to apply to the personal computer. This knowledge has enabled them to produce the IBM personal computer to be equally at home as a standalone system or even as part of a much larger system. It is quite plain that such a flexible and creative tool will not only be used for the more obvious commercial applications. In the not too distant future, we can expect to see the personal computer being used for purposes that at the moment we cannot even guess at. The problems associated with everyday living are constantly changing and man's initiative is continuously being put to the test. However, the IBM personal computer could be used to help solve many problems that are encountered day to day. The only limit to the applications of the IBM personal computer being the imagination of the user. But for such a product, one which may be used by non-computer people, whether small businessmen, teachers, professional people, or just about everyone, it is essential to have a reliable and efficient backup and after-sales service. IBM have chosen to make the personal computer available through IBM authorized dealers around the country. But these dealers have not been chosen at random. Each potential outlet has been a st their staff and their engineers IBM training and provided with stocks of spares, accessories and software, they can help, inform and guide you. Uh, but can it tell me how many bushels of corn I need to feed my serfs? Yes. <laughs> 